just a few words about what you'll be eating. I don't know if you this, I'm sure you have eaten this. Mm -hmm. We'll start with lentil soup, and then you have this salad appetizer. Don't fill up yourself with this, because you're having the main dish is stuffed lamb. But I'm sure it's stuffed with rice and nuts and all this, not with explosives. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you'll enjoy it. I just wanted to say thank you, and um, I know that uh, I'm sometimes when people meet me, it's like I'm a little intense, I'm a little like over the top, but I love life so much. <laughs> thank you, yes. But I, the one the reason that, that Steve and Janet uh, bring me along on the trips is for entertainment for you. <laughs> And to, and to bring the Holy Land to life in you, but also to remember that as Catholics, we're supposed to have joy in the Lord and to have fun. It's okay to have fun. And sometimes I see people walking around, I hear from so many people in my ministry, that they are so sad and they're so burdened and they think there's something wrong with being joyful. It's joy of the Lord, you know? And, and as I always say, what was Jesus' first miracle? Crying out loud, what's the mother said, change the water into wine! <laughs> And by the so way, the word, for, uh, the Aramaic word for wedding feast is the same word for drinking part. <laughs> so I've enjoyed getting to know all of you. I ask you to pray for uh, Steve and Janet and their and their incredible work, and for Guadalupe Radio. And a special thanks to Toya and Len for helping us with this trip. Thank you guys so so much. in this mission to, to spread the gospel and to stand up against, uh, I don't want to say it, but our new president. So I didn't want to think about that. I'm so happy. Now I thought of that. Okay, join the Lord. Join the Lord. All right, I saw this in the old city this morning. I said, I have to get this for Steve. I could not believe. Now, this is not you now. This is you like maybe 30 years from now. But it does kind of look like you. So this is my gift to you for, for allowing me to be a part of this. I know we're really good friends too, but really it's, it's such a joy to have you on my show and to work with you. On my way to Jerusalem, does that not look like him? Look at that. I'll wear it on the treadmill. Thank you very much. Here you go. Look at the classic. What a wonderful trip. It's been advertised in the footprints of God, and it really is. To be able to come back here and walk where Jesus walked, to celebrate what Jesus celebrated, to follow his life, his death, his resurrection, his ascension, it's been wonderful. Especially because becoming a priest and being able to celebrate Mass in the various places, and be able to you know, walk with with the people and to be able to experience the presence of Jesus in our midst in a very real way because where two or three are gathered he's in our midst and so there are many people here in his name are gathered and it made it a very very special because everybody here is so full of faith and so, so uh, desirous of coming to love the Lord even more and so it was just to uh, experience my priesthood here was something uh, too too great to, to uh, be able to explain, but it was wonderful. And it was very safe too. You know, I'm looking around and I was amazed that the people, life goes on and uh, everything was very peaceful and the weather was wonderful and hospitality was great, so it was, it was a wonderful time.
in a dream. Nothing was really real. Yeah, it took like three days before I realized it wasn't a dream. that you can never forget again. So I hope you'll come. Please enjoy the trip with Steve and Janet on one of their tours. I am Raji Khouri. I work for Shepherd Tours and Travel in cooperation with Corporate Travel. Everyone can organize a group, but not everyone can have Steve and Janet as the tour escorts and to have such a nice crowd and to see everything and to enjoy every bit of everything. I hope that you will come again and again just because we need you actually and we need your prayers for the peace of Jerusalem. 